What's on trend in 2023 in the fashion world? Let's find out. has begun. Out with the old, in with the new. And that means fashion too. No matter our age or even if we'll incorporate any of the trends into our wardrobe, it's important to stay abreast of trends. It's what keeps us modern, fresh, and relevant. Thanks to my Pinterest team, I always have an idea of what to expect for the upcoming months. But I also love to turn to the fashion experts to learn what's trending this year. Runway shows are a prime example of fashion experts. They're creating the designs after all. Each of the couture designers trot out their latest collections every year during Fashion Week with shows in New York, Paris, London, and Milan. What's spotted on the runways can be over the top for the average woman, but we catch a glimpse of what will trickle down to everyday clothes that our favorite brands and retailers will have on hand. Fashion magazines also share what's on trend. I grew up with subscriptions to Seventeen, Glamour, Marie Claire, Vogue, and Cosmo. I couldn't wait to flip through the pages to see what was new and trendy in fashion and what products I just had to try for myself. And I loved to read their articles. Fashion magazines were a wealth of information back in the day. Whenever I traveled by plane, I always made a pit stop to the airport newsstand to buy a fashion magazine to bring along on my trip. Or, if I had to wait in line at the grocery store, I was always lured to throw the latest edition into my cart. It was also common for my doctor to have copies of fashion magazines in his or her waiting room. It was a great way to stay preoccupied if the wait became too long, which happens more times than we'd like. But these days, it can be tricky to track down fashion magazines that are still in print. Vogue, Cosmopolitan, Harper's Bazaar, Vanity Fair, and InStyle all saw readers of their print magazines or online magazine editions decline to varying degrees in recent years. These days, most fashion magazines have transitioned to digital online affairs that aren't half as entertaining, at least to me, as I can't thumb through, dog ear particular pages, or even rip one out from my mood board. Watching essential events can also cue us in on what's on trend. The Golden Globes and Grammys showcase new and upcoming talents on stage and seated in the audience. Or the granddaddy of them all, the Oscars, where celebrity after celebrity sashay down the red carpet. These shows are always entertaining to watch, or at least they used to be. Viewership is also down across all platforms. Maybe we're getting bored, maybe too politicized, or maybe Hollywood stars are a thing of the past. Let's see what happens. (laughs) No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. Famous fashion stylists like Rachel Zoe or Monica Rose can also keep us in the loop with what's trending and they each have an online presence. Their clientele includes Chrissy Teigen, Iman, Cara Delvenye, no, I'm, probably, I'm gonna butcher this name, Cara Delvenye, DJ Hadid, and more. Google fashion trends. Another way to stay on top of fashion trends is simply Google it into your search bar or even on YouTube, and it will produce all sorts of articles you can read about 2023 fashion trends. Or you can even plug in a different year to see what's already come and gone. Or better yet, you've landed on this YouTube video where I'm sharing my take on the 2023 fashion trends. So let's take a look. Oversized everything. Gen Z has definitely embraced this trend, kicking skinny jeans out of their closets and sporting oversized blazers, extra large shirts, baggy jeans, and now we can add giant sized handbags to the list. This particular trend is one we can attempt to add to our wardrobe. If you want to experiment with an oversized look, here's my tip. Take one element like an oversized blazer and pair it with slim jeans. Or flip the script and choose a pair of wide leg or flare denim, then add a slim fit sweater or blouse to the outfit. Just keep your proportions in mind. Also, one oversized statement is definitely doable, whereas two or three in the same outfit will will be over the top and best reserved for supermodels and celebrities who truly want to make a statement with their outfit. But when it comes to oversized shirts, they're a fashion do all year long and look fantastic with leggings, skinny jeans, or shorts. For me, an oversized shirt is part of my style uniform all spring and summer, and I have several in rotation. Oversized handbags might be the easiest way to incorporate the oversized everything trend into your wardrobe. I've always loved large handbags as you can easily fit all of your personal items inside. 
umbrellas, first aid kit, makeup bag, maybe even the kitchen sink this year because they truly are oversized. But I also love the micro bags and you can't always fit everything inside there because it's typically keys, phone, and lipstick, just the bare minimum. As far as an oversized handbag is concerned, choose one that's in proportion to your body. I'm 5'8", so I can get away with a fairly large handbag, but if you're petite, you will have to adjust the size of the handbag to suit your frame, or forego the trend altogether. Another trend I'm loving is clean skincare. Today, I'm so excited to partner with Osea Skincare, who happens to be my daughter-in-law Kelly's favorite skincare brand, so I've been hearing a lot about this in the past year or so. Osea is a female found and family operated company that burst on the scene in 1996. They're clean, vegan, cruelty free, seaweed based skin and body care. And I know with each passing day, clean beauty products are what we all want to incorporate into our skincare routines. For the past month, I've put Osea to the test and it came out with flying colors. Now I know why Kelly is a big fan. Osea is an easy four step anti aging skincare routine, perfect for winter's dry temps. Ocean Cleanser, Ocean Eyes, Hyaluronic C Serum, and Advanced Protection Cream. And I have to mention, I love, love, love how the Ocean Cleanser smells. It just, I mean, fresh is really the word that comes to mind. All of the products are packaged in a glass bottle, and I particularly liked Ocean Eyes, their age defined eye serum that has a roller ball. For an easy and cool application, I thought that was really genius. The Hyaluronic C Serum absorbs quickly, and the piece de resistance to the skincare line is the Advanced Protection Cream that's ultra thick and goes on smoothly, leaving my skin hydrated. A little goes a long way, so this jar will last a long time. It's a rich, luxurious cream ideal for dry or mature skin. It's been tested to be safe for sensitive skin, which is an important factor to many of us. Advanced Protection Cream now uses a vegan retinol alternative to deliver even more anti-aging benefits to the skin. And it's now clinically proven to instantly increase hydration by 120%. That's right, 120%. That's amazing. No wonder it's become a cult favorite. Use my code Beth underscore ADV for 10% off your purchase. Everything is linked below in the description box. I love to test new products that I can share with you, and I'm certain you will love Osea as much as I do, and my daughter-in-law, Kelly. And if you love content like this where I'm sharing style tips or health and wellness, it would so help the channel if you hit the subscription box down below. Denim on denim. Since 1873, denim has been going strong. That's the year Levi Strauss introduced this humble workwear trouser. It's morphed over the years to become not only a cultural symbol, but a hard-working wardrobe staple. I'll know that investing in a great pair of jeans will make us feel incredible and take us just about anywhere as you can dress them up or down with ease. If one pair of jeans is good, then why not double the fun by wearing a Canadian tuxedo? Denim on denim that's on trend for 2023. The double take on denim is an easy trend to incorporate as it takes wardrobe essentials and puts them together. Most of us have jeans and a jean jacket hanging in our closet, and some of us have blue jeans and a timeless denim shirt on hand. So go ahead and start creating your own denim on denim look. It's an easy outfit formula to create this season and beyond, and one that I put together whether it's on trend or not. I'm always a sucker for a denim shirt plus denim combo. I try to keep the denim rinse compatible or opt for a lighter rinse on top and darker on the bottom. Whichever way you choose, feel free to add an oversized blazer to the mix and boots for a chic winter look. But if you want to give your jeans a break, add a denim skirt to your denim on denim style equation. Denim midi skirts are also trending this year, so there's a nice selection available if this piece is missing from your wardrobe. In the past, I've worn a light rinse denim shirt with a darker rinse denim skirt. Add a pair of flats and maybe even an oversized handbag, and you are on trend. I also want to share because many of you also love to have daily posts delivered directly to your inbox. So we have a newsletter. So here it is, and you can check off the option that you would like. We'll have it linked up down below, and I'd love to have you join the family over at Style to Certain Age. Next on the trend list is leopard print. Honestly, is leopard print even a trend? 
I think of it as an evergreen pattern like plaid, gingham, polka dots, and florals. Way back when, Jenna Lyons reigned supreme as the J. Crew creative director, and she proclaimed leopard print was a neutral that went with everything. I happen to agree. But leopard print has been in vogue for centuries, dating back to the Egyptians. In the 20th century, classic style icons Audrey Hepburn, Grace Kelly, and Jackie Kennedy were all spotted wearing leopard print, whether it was a hat, coat, or scarf. So it's no surprise that leopard is trending again this season. If you're new to this print or think you'll end up looking like Peggy Bundy, and I can understand why, especially if you're dressed head to toe, but you can ease into this trend slowly with a leopard print accessory. Try a belt, pair of shoes, or a leopard print scarf. Once you take a walk on the wild side, there's no going back. Soon you'll be wearing a leopard print skirt with a black turtleneck or leopard print blouse with a favorite skirt. And maybe, just maybe, you'll go all out and add a leopard print coat to your wardrobe. Next up on the trend report is glitz and glam. And this year, glitz and glam isn't just reserved for the holidays. In a throwback to the 80s, yes, what's old is new again. Or my mom always said, if you live long enough, what's old is new again. Rhinestones, slick metallics, and sparkly sequins are making their way into everyday fashion. It's all about having fun and coloring outside the lines. So if you're up to a little fun with your fashion choices, pair a sequin jacket with your favorite denim or add a pair of gold or silver metallic shoes to your closet. I've always thought metallics are just like leopard print. They act as a neutral and can be worn with many, many of your outfits. As a matter of fact, Many times when I'm stumped as to what shoes will go with an outfit, metallic shoes have come to my rescue more than once. And if you're feeling bold, take a gold lame evening skirt and trot it out to your next girl's night out paired with a blazer. Next on the trend report is bold colors. This is one trend we can all get on board with, bright colors. Digital lavender, luscious red, sundial, tranquil blue, and verdigris are the colors you will see everywhere in 2023. But it's interesting to note, fashion trends are influenced by cultural events. Rising inflation, rising hemlines. Calming and positive color palettes give us a much needed boost to combat the current grim political and economic landscape. So pick a color, any color, and incorporate it into your wardrobe. Bright hues and bold colors are a gorgeous contrast to neutrals. They're attention grabbing and dare I say fun. And we all need to have a little fun with our wardrobes. Next up is leather. Leather has been around for decades. Leather blazers, leather pants, and my favorite and iconic motorcycle jacket with a rich history dating back to World War I. We have the military to thank once again for this classic wardrobe staple. German fighter pilots were the first to don bomber jackets, and then, in the late 1920s, Irving Schott designed the first motorcycle jacket for the Harley-Davidson Company based on the bomber jacket those daring pilots wore in World War II. Schott incorporated a side zip and shortened the length of the jacket. It was an immediate hit with avid motorcycle enthusiasts, as they could lean over their bikes with ease. But this iconic jacket leapt into popularity in the 1950s when screen legend Marlon Brando embraced his tough guy jacket in his performance as a motorcycle gang leader in The Wild Ones. In 2023, the leather trend continues with oversized leather jackets, leather dresses, leather pants, leather shorts, boots, and bags. Honestly, everything is turning up leather. And head-to-toe leather is seen everywhere, too, just like denim on denim. But if a biker chic leather jacket isn't your thing, then I highly recommend a pair of leather or faux leather pants that are a nice departure from denim. Next on the list is sheer fabric. We saw this trend emerge in 2022 and it's full steam ahead for 2023. Sheer dresses, sheer blouses, and even sheer pants have taken over the red carpet. It's definitely a daring fashion attitude, but most of us don't want to be seen in a naked dress, or at least, I think most of us don't want to. It's a lot of information that doesn't need to be shared. But if done right, sheer fabrics are feminine and playful. They can be tricky to wear. So here's how I incorporated this trend into my wardrobe. Pick a beautiful blouse and a sheer fabric. If you're feeling bold, wear a contrasting color bra underneath, and that's that. Or add a beautiful silk camisole for more coverage. 
And a big thank you to Osea for partnering with me for today's video. Of course, give me a big thumbs up if you like it. Let me know what trends that you like in the comments down below. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.